Rage after he won against Gluto and Ixus at Respawn, he actually was crying. Yeah. He was crying. Yeah. All right, here we go. The finals of crew battles. This is exciting. Germany versus the Netherlands. We have Cloud against Mario on Smash already coming in with one of the purple specialties, which is Shield Drop. He is definitely the most consistent Shield Dropper in all of Europe, I would say. Okay, that's a good thing to have. Up there coming in. Yeah, he's definitely using the Smash platform to charge an entire limit. Mario doesn't really have a lot of ways against that. Oh, he finds an opening. And sometimes that's all that Semi needs is that one opening to get 68% and still counting. But oh. Purple Age not wants to give up quickly. Whew. Very close. The intangibility was just there, still on time to avoid the F Smash. Nice up smash from Semi. Red Trap, uh, a little bit too antsy, he reacted too early. All right. Woo! Another one of those up smashes, yeehaw, Super Semi says. And a good grab once again. Purple H still has his limit, <laughs> burns <laughs> it, but not really getting the hit he was looking for. Yeah, so the game just said, no, don't, no, here's another one, no. here's another one. Here's an up smash for your troubles. <laughs> First stock goes to Super Semi, strong start. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, trying to get cheeky with him. Oh, okay. At least that's a grab for Sammy and goes for the back throw. Trying to end this man's life super yeah. quick. Looking for a low percent gimp with either Flood or Cape with the way he was going and throwing on offstage. Yeah, and that might actually come back to bite him because it's all, almost always a good option to just go for the damage. Yeah. Unless it's, of course, Cloud and crew better than you want to. <laughs> you want to be the convincing guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to make the highlight real. Yeah. I'm not convinced yet, but he might. Oh, he show might me. convince you after he this might combo. Go now. 70%. Oh, oh right yeah, and I love slash. that from Purple H, you know. An, uh, an unusual way to use Limit Cross Slash. Yeah, using it as a landing option when your opponent thinks, oh, it's Cloud's advantage state. Let's hit him some more. But still, Semi fighting with the fire he begin began with. Began with. Oh! oh! You don't want to see that. Okay, Purple, Purple H, H just miscalculating his recovery. Yep. But you know, Sammy will take this any day of the week. Yep. Let's see what else Sammy is going to take from this man. Oh boy. Now one goes shield drop up as oh Sammy finds another opening. One grab onto Ooh. a cloud. This spells trouble. Man, and we all know about the Fox Vortex, but Mario has a bit of a Vortex of his own. This is more or less a Super Semi Vortex. Yeah, th that's probably more likely it. Oh, oh boy! Just sneaks past his defenses. And Purple H. Man, he will have to get he lucky to get the stock. Yeah. Defenseless! Super he just semi took him move. apart completely, and we see I studying dude doing the Naruto Whoa. run. <laughs> Give this man the appropriate music. That was a very good run. <laughs> put the theme on. Put the theme on. Can we get a clip of that? Make it into a. Put the music under it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Purple H smiling it off, you know. Even though he's a show, uh, even though he likes showmanship, he also appreciates sportsmanship. Oh. It takes headphones with him. <laughs> I mean, th these are some good Sennheisers, but they are not yours. <laughs> All right, so it's Semi with still two stocks left, and I, and I wonder who, I, who they will, you know, put out after this. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what they're. It's going to, to be out. light with the Sheik. Might as well be light, having some Mario experience himself being the Mario player. One of basically the only Mario player in Germany. We have. Oh, Mario. and the cap is coming out. Oh, <laughs> Semi ain't playing. <laughs> Definitely. I, I love these screw battles. Is there another cap behind him? Uh, that might be a different sort of cap. What is it? I don't know. Is that a Diddy Kong one? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah and comes it, light. And yeah. it is indeed light coming, uh, stepping up to the plate. Yeah, yeah because otherwise, um, I feel like this is their best best option. Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't expect Scythe, I wouldn't expect Longo. Yeah, Scythe would have been probably able to do it as well, but you don't want to uh, bring out your, your, biggest, uh, your, your biggest player uh, quite yet. Yeah. 
And I wonder who they're going to pick against too. Like, Saif is still there. He's a Diddy Kong. Might put him against S1. I don't know what you're doing. And I just noticed, what's up with, with all the German top players being fit as hell? I don't know. Longo, is, Longo also has recently joined the club. Yeah, I know. Holy J hell. Just, just a bunch of buff dudes playing yeah. Smash. Yep. Some of them... We're not nerds! <laughs> yeah, so, so the interesting thing is, for those unaware, working out actually strengthens your mindset in terms of Smash. There you go. As it does for most competitive sports. Yeah, it, it makes sense, you know, uh, yeah. a, healthy, a healthy mind within a healthy body. Also, yeah. I hate seeing people just tank up on energy drinks uh, during turn. Just yeah. drink water, grab a piece of fruit, you know. You, we know you need energy, but make it healthy energy, not yeah. just uh, gunk. You will regret later on. Yeah, definitely. Like, my recent strategy for the last two months has been, okay, I'm going to a tournament, I'm going to eat a lot of tomatoes <laughs> and <laughs> drink water. Which works very well when I'm in the Netherlands because your tomatoes are amazing over here. Yeah, the, the, the small ones? Yeah, ah, oh, They are my favorite. I love these. Okay, so yeah, it's just a, just a good snack because it comes in a bucket. You can just yeah, have just it besides the setup. Yeah, it's, it's like they are sweets or something, like yeah. potato chips, just you, you, one tomato you, after <laughs> another. You can just eat one in between stocks. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, I get it. And uh, Light, you were saying, uh, at this tourney he didn't do all too good, right? Yeah, though but in, he, in the crew battles. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This might be his chance to redeem himself. Yeah, he has pulled out strong showing against Norway. I think he took eight stocks. Really? <laughs> yes. Damn. He took a, an entire Bayonetta, an entire Sonic, and two from somebody else. W what country was that? That was Norway. Norway. Okay, okay. And then he took... That's good. And then he took another stock from Whoopi. Right. Yeah, because regardless of what country we're from, we mostly just want to see an intense crew battle. You don't want to see yeah. a steamroll in, in grand finals. That, that's not that's fun for nobody. Yeah, definitely. I want to see the best go up against the best. Except for the guy that gets a highlight reel, basically. Yeah, there's always that one guy. <laughs> one guy always gets uh, gets all the, the excitement of the crowd. Maybe it's a ginger with a poodle noodle. <laughs> Shout out to the flow. <laughs> Shout out to the flow, the ginger with the poodle noodle. <laughs> Pool noodle. I just messed that road up three times in a row. Yep. Alright, there it goes. Semi SDing his stock like he should. So it's two versus three. Yep. And ooh, Battlefield, that's a that's a brave decision. Yeah, if so, you ask me. So Light is a very big friend of Battlefield. So he can play against Cloud as both Mario and Sheik, and he will counter pick the stage against the Cloud. Alright, good grab right there. Uh, a little bit. Percentage is being racked up. 55 now on the Super Semi. 38 on to Light. And to hop into Dash Grab. Okay, just keeps rinsing and repeating, keeping Mario off stage. Oh, and I love that down air, you know, into Grab. It just looks so smooth. Okay, Super Semi with the Power Shield. No option away. You'll go for him too. Drag down into Grab. One needle to turn him off. Another one. Light showing some respect at the ledge. Alright. <laughs> Super Semi again going for a hard read up smash. And Light goes for the hard read up yeah, smash. Yeah, kind of so left himself wide open right there for Semi to do some damage. That is Light's specialty. He is the most up smash heavy Sheik yeah. I have ever seen. And I like seeing that, you know, as Sheik, you don't want to... We saw Mr. R and, and Ho struggling with getting a kill. And Light isn't afraid to, to put out those options he can do it with. Yeah. Light definitely being one of the Sheiks to kill the earliest when he gets the option to. And that is also why he likes Battlefield. These platforms work very well with his playstyle, which is up smash heavy, catching them on landings, and also on tech chase bouncing fish. That is two of the things he really does a lot. Oh, and the Nair actually clanking with Fireball. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Oh, needles him. Okay, and... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You can see all the jumping around, but Mario just stands firmly in, in his shoes and yeah. lets that head just rip. Alright, no grab on the platform, just an F-tilt. Oh, yeah. Grab a jab of Sheik is not really safe against Mario or rather Super Semi. He Double spot dodge, that. but Semi being ready for both of them. F-throw. And unless Light gets uh, another super quick uh, stock like he did the first time, Sammy might have the chance to take a second. No. Oh. Oh. oh! And this is scary stuff. 
if yeah. you are in light shoes. This, this is a very, very crucial stock for both of them! Exactly, and Light pulls through in the end, cleans it out, you know, losing only one, so that's not too shabby. But Semi, on the other hand, taking four stocks. Yeah, definitely did his work, and now Ice Studying is coming in. Ooh. He wants his revenge from Elysium. Right, yeah, that's, that's true, that's true. Light against Ice Studying was a battle that happened at Elysium, and it ended... Because Elysium ended in a, a German Grand Finals. If um, I remember correctly, no, 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 no it was no, no, no. Yeah, you're completely right. Right, the losers' finals was uh, German. Right. Yeah. We're purple being third and light being second. Light on his way to the top two in Elysium took out Ice Studying in the 3-0. So let's see how this goes. And Ice Studying has been playing uh, pretty well himself in Cruise today. Yeah. You know, had good control for DX17. Mm -hmm. uh, the first crew. I think he took out more than, yeah, he took uh, out almost two of, of the Finnish players. Okay. Took five stocks there, so doing pretty well for himself. So these are the crew beasts of Germany and Netherlands facing each other now. Basically the backbones of the team. Why so? Well, they are both more or less the respective MVPs of the team in terms of stocks taken in the previous couple of games. Right, 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 crews. right. Yeah. So they are, they are the killers. They are not there to counter their opponent, to be used as a reserve. They are there to take stocks and take them effectively, yeah. take them fast, take them a lot. So what do you do when the other crew sends out the killer? You send in your own killer. Exactly. Of course, you could have a counter pick against the killer, but who is your counter pick against Light? Who is there? Bada? If only, the only guy I could have imagined would be Bada, because Light is not too good at the Bayonetta yeah, matchup. You could go for the Sheik Ditto, but that doesn't make real sense either. Yeah. So, fun fact, Light recently at a tournament lost to a 13-year-old Bayonetta player <laughs> called Samu, and he dislikes the character ever since. No shame in losing to 13-year-olds. Yeah. They that, turn up. <laughs> that, that guy definitely turned up, so shout out to him. All right, back to Palutena's once again. Ice Studying's favorite stage to go to. Yep, also not legal. <laughs> 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 Do not tell anybody. Strong start. Oh, no turn around before the jab, so Ice Studying won that trade. Light air dodging on stage two times in a row, getting caught by so yeah. many percentages. These short hop nairs from Ice Studying are catching the spot dodges and Man. Light has been thrown out so many times. That was such a clean sequence. And it still keeps it going. Yep. But that fair is a bit stale at this point. Never mind being stale. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if you're putting a, on this much damage, the staleness doesn't matter all that much. Yeah. I mean, stale or not, the next one's going to kill on the same spot. Yeah, but I feel like Ice is going to be looking for a grab instead. That's but not still, the same spot, though! That was like the sixth fair already. Yeah. And Light has, has spent more time off stage than on it. Yeah, definitely. We talked about the killer, but Light right now is a tank. And now he's slowly gaining back his momentum, meeting a double jump over his head. Ice Setting not giving it to him though. Another one of those one up grabs immediately. Ice Setting jumping over his head. He was already going for the up smash, you could see it. Yeah. Right, missed the grab right there. Light but going Light, for yeah, bringing it back quickly. Oh and just my like god! That. The hurt box extension yeah. on the foot! Light caught it! And muda, this, muda. this <laughs> is why he is the most up smash heavy chic. Oof. Trying to land, but it's useless. Oh! Alright, and it's and this one! After so many fairs, <laughs> it'll eventually happen. Yeah. It took a while, but now we're here. Okay, let's see if Isani can rack up percentage the same way he did the first talk. But apparently if it's up to light, none of that is going to happen. Yeah. The, the, the tables have just completely turned. Now it's Ice Studying struggling to get on the stage. Oh, wait a minute. Light lets him back and now it's Ice Studying's chance to go for Tech Chase after Tech Chase. No, he misses one and gets caught immediately. Now he is the one at disadvantage. Light continuing the chase. gets a read on the rollback. Miss oh. it though. Oh, what phantom jump. Oh, drag, drag down. Drag down. Reset. No, text it. Oh. Oh, oh! oh the Greninja Nair off stage. 
Yeah, you are out. That thing has so much land lag. It and happens once you, every tourney. Yeah, and if, if you fast fall that, you're out. Yeah, you're just done. So yeah, this is a last stock situation. Even yep. though I start, uh, started out with a stock more. Definitely still doable for Light to take the stock though. Ice standing obviously has the advantage! Yeah. There's the hitbox extension of his own, giving him an up smash and retaliation, trading one for one and up smashes. Is that 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 Nair just brings death to, to yourself but also to the opponent. Yeah. And in a crew battle environment, being left with one stock is very crucial because it means somebody from the opponent team is going to send in their person and you can counterpick them. Exactly. If exactly. they send in Quick now, Quick takes one stock. Wait, you have to counterpick advantage against Quick. What do you do? Maybe send on Bardo. Yeah. Is Scythe going to come in? So it's going to be interesting. Maybe... Hmm. What do you think about... What do you think about Longo? So the problem with Longo is, why I agree that it's he is a good pick. I mean, the question is, when do you put in Longo? Uh, yeah, that is a tough question. Um, let me think. Uh, oh, ah. this, this is going to be Scythe, yeah. yeah. Alright, so, so I guess they're banking on Scythe taking a clean 3. Yeah. Clean 3-0. So the problem with Longo is that, I would expect, is when they pull out Longo against Ice Studying, and he takes a stock, they have the counter pick advantage and can pick Ice uh, as one against Longo, and as one is known to be a warm yeah. player in some shape, shape or form. So of course <laughs> but he has lost to Longo in the past as yeah, well. Yeah, he has lost the last time, I think it was right. But I mean, uh, you don't want to have Longo facing Mr. R, that, that's a recipe for disaster. Mm, actually, Be because if there is a Rob Killer on the Dutch team, it's, it's Mr. R. Yeah, while that is true, Longo actually does relatively well against Sheik. I have no idea how he does it. He played, right. against, he played against Neotono at Salt. And it actually was way closer than I right, ever expected right. it to be. But you know, uh, eventually you just gotta do it with uh, w with um, the tools at hand. Yeah, of course. And those are Scythe, Longo, and Quick. 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 Yeah. yeah. So against S1, hmm, maybe Longo because of the last time, maybe not. It would be a very, very interesting matchup. Okay, but let's see who, who Scythe picks is going to. Yeah, it is the Diddy Kong yeah, versus the Greninja. Diddy Kong being definitely and, and this is definitely character. doable, you know, just completely even, uh, even it out once again. Yeah. Because I feel after that they might actually send out possibly Mr. Art's counter scythe. Yeah, might be. Because you, you don't want to uh, put someone in that actually loses. But let's not discuss that right now because we have this final stock on Greninja versus 3 on scythe. Yeah. So I think final destination where he has some banana control, good ledge traps, a lot of space to work with. Ice Studying holding his own, playing a very slow spacing war. Scythe not connecting any of his aerials in the first 20 seconds here. Oh, speaking of, there's three in a row. He percentages again. Now reading a roll back, going for a pivot grab on that. Oh, one, one spot dodge waited out. Smart choice from Scythe. Very slow and calculated plan. Right. Go for a lot of 50 50s where it's like, okay, I yeah, need yeah, spot yeah. dodge, I lose the shield, these, that. I'm starting definitely not overextending, you know, usually just getting a one hit and waiting for a reaction from Scythe. It was a very smart setup, but there's oh, no luck the, to be had. The light flash, you know, yeah. completely <laughs> blinding what's happening. But they knew, they knew. Yeah, this is why people prefer Sky World, Polutena, whatever. Oh, one down to it. Re grabs him, throws him off. Let's trap is set. That's a good let's trap setup. Was oh, that yeah, and he does it. Scythe does it, evening out the crew battle. Yeah, now counter pick for the Netherlands crew. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. R is walking up. Just like we thought. Yeah, you take out the strongest player with your own strongest player. It seems Th like yeah, th that makes sense because you don't want to risk going down and then having to uh, still put out Mr. R. And uh, still risking the chance of Scythe taking the first stock. You don't yep. want to do that. So you just put him out immediately and bank on Mr. Out just outclassing uh, Scythe in this case. Yeah. So we have Bada and S1 remaining. If I wanted to make any assumptions, it's that Bada, or rather Germany, people don't want to put Quick against Bada. Bada has won in the past against Quick before. Right. Although Quick has a lot of experience in this uh, Bayonetta matchup, as his roommate used to be a Bayonetta main. Okay. Blup. Good old power rank number 8 in Germany, Bayonetta. Yeah. 
not sure if they're roommates, but they definitely were from, <laughs> from like the same the same city. Right, and this might be you know uh, just a glimpse of what winners semis might semis might be actually, or yeah. winners quarters, something like yeah. that. So at Beast, the, they last fought, and it was a 3-0 for Mr. R. Though even though it was a 3-0 for Mr. R, it went to last stock a couple of times in the past. And I know that uh, right before a syndicate, Mr. R was streaming at home, practicing those Fusil combos. So let's let's see if the training uh, is gonna come to fruition right here. Oh, Bowl. Whoa! Did he? As he died so hard out that he actually died. Or did he monkey flip out? No, he air dodged right out. Right. Anyway, some something <laughs> unusual happening in that blast zone, but yeah, Scythe not completely shook by it quite yet. The edge guarding is still on point. That trip is also on point. But we lost his banana in the process. Yeah, but but that's that that stuff, you know, when you're uh, the uh, player is expected to lose and you lose your stack stuck like that. This is also a good opportunity for both of these to gain intel on the opponent for tomorrow. I know, maybe Mr. R is checking him. How does he react to my footstool combos? What does he do? Where does he drift? Whoa, Ooh, bad spot once again. But the Nair not going to be able to catch that recovery. Oh, and the chases wow. from Mr. R are real, but the dare from Scythe not coming out. Yeah, not just a dare from side coming out, but also a very smart recovery, avoiding all of the areas that exactly. Mr. R would have used to cover the recovery. Oh, I Ooh. love it! Movement! Okay, okay. She gets some wall jump tech, but Diddy has two. Oh, I tried to go for empty up. There's the and punish. And at 92, and that was a DI cross-up right there. Yeah. Uh, Scythe expecting to pop, uh, pop out uh, on the uh, left side, but Mr. R sent him to the right. Oh, platform reset. Oh, set. oh boy. Oh, God. Smash will assist. Woo, that was a very smart slide there, right there. The up tilt might have killed Mr. R right there off the top. Definitely a good work here from Mr. R. Very smart pick from the Netherlands crew. Yeah. That air dodge was ridiculous. Oh, but Scythe with a quick match out, almost getting Mr. R's first stock, and you know he needs it. Okay, grenade. Just gonna monkey flip right out of danger, but into Mr. R's hands. Is this going to be a three stock, or is Scythe going to put out some work? Never <laughs> mind! This is why he is the best in Europe. Yeah, no doubt about it. Just uh, a three stock into casual into ca casual Twitter uh, Twitter interaction. Let's see if we tweeted something. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the most PM thing. Come on, get tweet. the tweets out. Get tweet. the tweets out. Tweet, tweet, my man. Who's Sive? Who is Sive? Never heard of him. I just played. Uh, I just played a really solid Diddy Kong. <laughs> this Diddy was decent. This Diddy was pretty decent, he can go pretty far in a couple of years. Who's this man coming up? Oh, sponsored by Beefy Smash, dude. It's Quick. Yeah, it makes sense they didn't want to send Quick in against Bada. Longo, after beating S1 the last time, might be confident against him. You know, and I think Quick might be uh, the sort of the, the hidden weapon. Yeah. Quick is the type of guy that no matter his opponent, he can do some damage. Yeah, definitely. No matter who it is. He also has a, you know, I feel like a bit of a temper sometimes. Yeah. When things go badly. Yep. Yep. When things go badly, but when things go well, they, they go really well. Definitely. Yeah. Your suit versus Sheik. Quick being maybe the, the German player with the most international wins taking sets off of Larry Lurs, Samsoa and Raito. Right. That's good. At his one weekend that he attended in Seoul, California. Dreamland as his counter pick, no ban, of course, smart choice from his ESS player, triplet, going ham. Yeah, th they love their Dreamland. Mr. R still casually on his phone. Right, and it's a full player up for the Dutch crew. Yeah. It, it's basically all on quick shoulders right now. But I am sure that there was some thought behind sending him quick against Mr. So, uh, that, that right there could have been the start of a ladder combo and maybe the idea of what they were going for when they were sending him in. No platform assist right there, 70%. 70% is 
70% is still 70%. Next, next one Ooh, is excellent looking grab. dangerous on a 50-50, yeah, I was about to say. And quick, the R yeah. Nice. He still needs to be careful not to overextend. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, wow. Just tossing him around. Now it's back to even percentages for both. And yeah, quick getting no uh, room to breathe whatsoever. Yeah. And the man who is not able to breathe is also one that easily chokes. <laughs> As displayed in biology class and in Smash 2. Oh. Yeah, he needs to flip kick towards the ledge. Oh yeah, just pops him out <laughs> into his whirlwind of feet. Yeah, there was also the tipper down tilt, which is almost not diable at all. Oh, but quick answering back, but not quite uh, hard enough. All right. Oh, okay, oh, that was smart. That was smart. It, but woo. You might even call that a bait. I'm not sure what that was, <laughs> but Green Man working out fine. Damn fine, I might say. One stock for both now. You know, and even if Quick wins with one stock, yeah. it's still a decent performance. But he does need to win. Yeah, and even if he doesn't, well, there's only longer remaining. <laughs> yeah, only longer, and that's gonna be tough. One man and a dream. One man, a gyro, and a dream. Mr. R is relentless! Yeah, and we could all see that up smash coming, but uh, Quick uh, being able to, to throw up his power shield. Okay, Mr. R showing his ledge trap efficiency yet again. Oh. Oh, is that going to do it? Yes, it indeed. Is. You know, just that bit of rage giving that extra boost to get it done. And uh, the Germans are, are getting a bit, uh, you know, louder for their man quick. Yep, quick definitely being the most high player in Germany or the more, most popular one, I might say. Right next to Purple Age. No, even, even above Purple Age, I might say. Quick definitely and being the hype machine. And. Quick with all this rage on his side, uh, Mr. R might have to be careful of how he approaches things. Ooh, barely, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what side uh, on the stage you are. An uppy kill of his own, Mr. R coming in hot, burning quick. Now we have a last stop remaining for both. <laughs> Just barely. barely missing that grab, that's a shame to see. Very good reaction time from Mr. Arda, rolling right out of danger and misery. Oh boy! Is yes, this that, that's going to be it, that's it right there! Quick, just perfectly use those platforms to his advantage. And the Germans were standing up and now I would assume Bada is coming in. Yeah. Where he is. S1? No, it is S1. S1. So they keep Bada for long though. That, that's interesting. I would assume that usually Bardo would do a better job against Quick, but they both should do a fine job against Quick, I would imagine. Yeah, that, that, that's true, you know, it's, it's one stock remaining, and, you know, Bayonetta has all the tools to deal with someone like ZSS. Yeah. So let's see how, how good Quick is at the matchup or at playing this out with one stock remaining. But I do know that, that Butter has had a lot of practice with Anti-Reflex, our okay, very yeah. young Rob. And the matchup of Bayonetta versus Rob, that, that's no walk in the park for, for our, you know, poor robot. Yeah. Well, then again, Longo obviously has a kill out. <laughs> but uh, aren't you stuck on your character in Cruise? That's a good question. From Apparently from we weren't even stuck on the Cruise themselves. That is true, so there are no rules in Screw <laughs> Battle. <laughs> what are rules? <laughs> what are rules? Started. All right, and you know, quick already uh, taking uh, three stocks actually for, from Mr. No, was it two? Uh, I think it was, it was three. Three stocks. Yeah, it was three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So already did a very good job, but uh, what he needs to do more is just take at least one to make it easier or longer, but, and preferably two. Yeah, and if he wants to put it back to to even, three. Yeah, if he wants to get the godlike status, you take them all. Yeah. Quick being a beast, so he's definitely able to achieve godlike status. Uh. But S1 is saying no to godlike status now. What is a god against PK Thunder? 
Okay, yeah, two low percentages. That thing is not connecting into itself. Oh, yeah, a bit of slick movement coming out from S1. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got flashbacks to Smash Valley. Quick has said he was never going to use dash attack ever again. <laughs> well, you have to at some point. I mean, <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't work out for him anyway. <laughs> Let's just hope he doesn't get too flustered off of that. Because, you know, that's not something he can afford right now. Down to his last talk, and just as I say that, commentator's curse just falling down. Uh, that, that, that's a shame to see, especially after that amazing performance versus Mr. R. Yeah, and now long go comes in as the last man standing against Netherlands. So, uh, reminiscent of the UK crew where Ixis had to face uh, two Dutch crew members uh, in his lonesome, yep. uh, Longo faces the same fate. Yeah, will he be able to take it to Last Stock 2? I mean, you know, there's a running joke, Longo being Dutch himself. <laughs> so let's see if, if that helps him, you know. Yeah. He has uh, come to a lot of uh, Dutch uh, tourneys, which we love him for. Yeah, he's, he's adopted. Coming through a lot. A lot of people are adopted I'm these days. Dutch. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dutch, but fighting for the German side. Trying to confuse everybody in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely coming in good. Let's see how the Germans <laughs> take this tag. How do you feel about this, Tails? I, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> As a Dutchie myself. <laughs> <laughs> right. You were gonna, you, all right. You were gonna go by Verhalen, right? Yeah, that's your my tag. My for new the name week. is Verhalen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Battlefield. Yeah, is where we are going, and it is going to be Rob. All right, let's see what he can do. The Dutch man against the Dutch man. Can the crew battle of Germany versus? <laughs> and to be brutally honest, I do actually hope that Longo takes it. I just want to see it go to the last game. Yeah, sure. I want to see how he stacks up against Bada and what the idea here is of going Bada against Longo as a counter pick. Longo already putting in small work as a gyro magician. Gyro magician. Yeah, you can make these things disappear and appear. Ooh. And will Ooh. get burned. Swung start. Oh, oh, yeah, and, and that's the that's the classic crop setup. But S1 being able to sneak out of it. No, oh, he starts with another one now, though. Oh, quick fingers from Longo with items. S1 catching a gyro, throwing it down. Very dangerous percentages for S1 here. And this is where Rob struggles off stage, but makes it back with a high recovery. Smart choice. Yeah, high recovery, not shielded by S1. Okay, Gyro by the clipping S1. Up throw on platforms is going to be very dangerous option sometime soon, or rather about now. Okay, once again with the Gyro. Oh, oh my god, get, you yep. know, when you think it doesn't come, it's still there. Yep. So Longo off to a pretty strong start. Definitely off to a good start. But S1 is trying to make this robot collapse with electricity. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, Auto yeah. down as such a strong two on platform if used correctly. And S1 definitely is the one to Oh, use it. fast one there off stage from Longo. I don't think that was the uh, intent. We will not know for sure. Yeah, put that, put that robot on electricity. <laughs> back All right, throw. back throw. No, not quite no. yet. On battlefield, no. Rob is a heavy dude. Woo. That was a 50-50 after the PK Thunder. If you add out, you die too late up air. If you don't, you die too early up air. And with every stock taken from the German crew, their chances of getting this crew, f crew battle is, is getting slimmer and slimmer. Yeah, definitely. Here is S1 with the gyro in his hands. Oh, PK Fire be connected. Okay, we're with double jumping out of there, giving the Phantom Footstool to S1 in the process. They hit up up air. Right, gyro going up. Gonna land eventually, <laughs> even through the shield. Ooh. Shield pressure is insane here from the up tilt. 
Down throw. Right, not the Tombstone quite yet, but it goes for the 50-50 mix-up and that great air dodge from uh, Ness is going to keep him safe. Yeah. Ooh, roll down smash looking like for Glory. Oh yeah, and that... <laughs> You never see, you know, unless it's uh, top player Lucretio, <laughs> you don't see Rob doing side B. DB <laughs> oh, yeah. You hear it, yeah. <laughs> you hear it. <laughs> the UK people, even though it's not their game, are still here for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, oh. this is going Astro. to be the tombstone. Not no, quite, though! not quite! Miscalculated the percentages. As one with one more chance at making the stock count. Oh, off the top he goes. With the Nair even, okay. Okay, Longo. With and some Longo, yeah, in a good position to end this out with a two-stock, basically. It's all doable for him here. Now he's off stage again, finding himself against PK Thunder over PK Thunder. Okay, not getting clipped by anything. Just making it back. Oh, he doesn't catch the gyro with a D-grab. This could be fatal for him. He missed one gyro and now he's put into this situation. Yeah, and both players are, are playing a bit more nervously. You can see it in their spacing. Yeah. S1 just spamming aerials, but they are all safe as he times them correctly. Longo dipping down extra low. Does he have enough fuel in the tank? After the attack, he will. Oh, throws him off, gives him a gyro. I like the idea. Exactly. F back throw? Back throw? Not quite. No, 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 no. All right, yeah, that was a, a, a very necessary challenge to go for. Yeah. The next down throw up there might kill. From Rob? Yeah. Down throw up there might kill. Now. Oh, yeah, now it will. Now it will. Yeah. Ooh, just goes for the up smash. That was an up air. Right, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. There was a jump cancel up smash, which means this was supposed to be an up air. Unfortunately, missing put for Longo towards the end of this game, and that was a very crucial stock. And you know, S1 can relax a bit more right now, knowing he took two stocks, yeah. leaving uh, Butter only with the cleanup of one more. Yeah. Unless he does it himself, of course. I mean, I don't doubt this man. He's able to do it. Self proclaimed Rob Slayer <laughs> S1. Having to take out an own countryman to, to proceed. <laughs> Make that thing spin. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alright. But this is winding down. S1 going for the down throw. Nothing more off it because of the rage on him. Oh. Oh yeah, and S1 is looking to close out himself. Yeah. For the Dutchies. For the Dutchies, for Longo himself! Ooh, from deep! Longo And is Longo in a very tough spot. Can he make it back? Yes, he does. Oh, but he floats out of the last hit! Again. again! You can't make this stuff up! Take it! At least gets the deck. He goes for the downer! He goes oh, for the... the <laughs> what? It's off the top! Ooh, the last 30 seconds of that uh, game was insane, <laughs> you know? <laughs> S1 falling twice out of the up air into, uh, you know, uh, Longo having having to tech into a, a down air uh, killing Ness off top? Okay, we'll take it. We'll take okay. it. We're down to the last game right here. Okay. We're collecting ourselves. Oh, boy. And it's kind of in my, you know... Do you ever have that feeling uh, of always being for the underdog? Yes. Do, do you know that feeling? Yeah. Even if it's, you know, uh, a, a friend of yours, but it's so someone uh, way, you know, with, with, yeah. with way less better performances in bracket, and you're like, man, I kind of want to see the upset. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling it. right now. But let's see what's going to happen in this very last game of crew battles. Rob being extremely heavy, being extremely fat. SDIing out of Bayonetta combos. Half. He is gonna need some cheesy kills though. Yeah. Every percent that Butter wrecks onto him. Yeah, and now. Butter is ain't the type of player, uh, he doesn't mind just hanging back and just shooting at you from a distance. Yeah. And every percent matters. He, can, he could theoretically take an entire stock and dedicate it just to doing damage. Yeah. And you know, this could basically be over within 20 seconds. 
just because of just one Bayo combo, but that won't be it quite yet. Yeah. Of course, at zero percent, it's almost impossible to get a Bayo combo yeah. off the top unless you have full H. Mm -hmm. Or you get like the most crazy setup in the world, where they STI and fall out at ridiculous percent. All right. Oh, a clean start for ba Butter, and this might be it, but no, falls out. But with every single percent, it's going to be tougher and tougher for Longo oh. to get it done. But that's a good start. Mm -mm. Not quite. Not quite, though. No, nope, he falls out of yeah. the SCI. Butter always missing the last hit, but, you know, th those percentages are nothing to scoff at. Yeah. What? Oh, what? my God. And then the Jairo clips him. Oh He's my god! Oh my god! And you know the chat is living right now. <laughs> you know people ain't happy about that. The Dutch are, but that that was I've never seen a witch time like that. <laughs> Rob was just in hugging position. Yeah. That loving, caring <laughs> robot gets witch timed and dragged off mercilessly off stage.